Hello children, how are you? How was the exam? Did you all do your exam well? Yes? Was it easy? Okay. So, please mail your answer sheets. And um, today we are going to see a new topic, a new poem called The Moon. It is the poem number 8 that is uh, the moon. Okay. So, we have already discussed about uh, the happenings at night, what and all we used to see at night, how you will feel at night. This, the, the night will be very calm, silent and uh, will be uh, very... So we all will feel sleepy and that we all will sleep at two. And when when discussing, all the saying, we will have dinner, we'll sit together with our parents, chat for some time, and then we'll sleep the whole night. When the sun rises only, we'll get up. All that you were saying. Then um, you are saying about the noise also. You all were saying uh, you can hear the noise of dog barking loudly and even the croaking sound of frog when it is a rainy season um, like that you were all saying then also you said you were able to watch uh, bat roaming flying about here and there and then uh, on seeing this picture when I, when I was showing this sharing the screen you were saying the birds will be resting will the birds, the birds will be sleeping in the nest and then uh, all that you were saying okay so here the poet our poet Robert Louis Stevenson so he says about uh, moon because of moon how the night looks and what are all happens in night is discussed here by this poet okay so here the poet says the moon has a face like the clock in the hall. So he says he just compares the face of the moon. Moon's shape. Moon shape is like a clock in the hall. Most of our houses we have the clock in round shape. Shape of the clock will be round most of the houses. So it is common. So he says it is like a clock in the hall. She shines on the thieves on the garden wall. Ah, one more thing. That is in the garden. Not in the garden. Anywhere. Wherever the thieves are planning to rob or steal something from any house or any commercial shops. They use only knives to do their work. Their project will be robbing or stealing something without so that others will not be able to know because all will be sleeping at that time. So it will be easy for them to steal something or rob something. Robbery can be done only during nights. They feel and in the moonlight only they used to rob. So the, that thing they will do, he says. And on streets and fields and harbor ways. Streets. Usually we used to walk through the streets in the street light. In few streets, we don't have street lights. So, in such cases, what you do? We use moonlight. We use moonlight ch chatting with our people and we'll be walking. Few of them go for walking. Few uh, just have a small uh, walk. So, for those things, we use only this uh, moonlight and fields. In fields where the crops are grown, they used to have only the moonlight for watching. If any wild animals just like elephant or tiger or anything enters the field and it damage the crop, what will happen? Uh, it, so they are, uh, they are, they want to safeguard the crops from the animals. They use this moonlight and they keep watching the whole night. Okay, that happens. And then harbor ways. This is a new word for you. I think it is harbor. What is harbor? It is a bank of a river actually uh, we say it is sea because uh, in the beach they will be building an harbor building an harbor is nothing like a, a 
rail railway station where rails come and uh, rest for some time where people get down and go get inside from the from station to station and even the airport also will be the same uh, people will get down and get inside to go somewhere to the foreign places uh, to some other places when we want to move from one place to another we use a uh, train for the railway station and for bus bus terminus bus stop we say and for uh, uh, flight we say airport similarly for the while well, we are uh, most of us won't use this uh, way of transport that is using by sea but when we are going by sea it is the harbor mostly harbor way they used to load and unload from some, some foreign items if you want to bring inside in, into our country we can use this uh, way of transport through ship we can do and one more thing uh, we can also uh, take our things to foreign countries through sea from uh, using harbor with our, when we, that is why they say this harbor is for loading and unloading so for loading is you are uh, you'll be uh, carrying everything uh, sorry carrying the things which you want to carry to the foreign countries that is what is loading loading the ship we are loading your items or your your loads or your uh, things that is known as loading and unloading is you are bringing you are collecting something from uh, outside foreign countries from foreign place that is only is unloading unloading from the ship that is what they say so these are all the uh, things they use harbor harbor for ship to uh, rest for some time so that people will get down and get inside if they are going to travel and even the things will be loaded and unloaded over there okay and the third thing is there uh, in the first answer the uh, fourth line says the birdies live in the forks of the trees the birdies always the birds sleep at night you all know that yes the birds sleep at night in the nest the nest will be in the forks of the trees forks is nothing but the uh, division of the branches in the form of y y shape so that is only uh, where that is the center position they take for, for uh, the nest so that the nest will not fall down so that case they use and that is why the poet has mentioned here forks of the tree forks the branches the y where we have the y shape in between that part only they use for nest so in the first stanza he says the shape of the clock and in the says, as shape of the clock is round like a clock and the next one is the thieves use the moonlight and then in the streets in the fields in the arbors they use moonlight for loading unloading in the fields to safeguard the crops in the streets to walk then birdies will sleep in the folk of the nights just like a little light will be there for them to sleep safe got their nest and also their young ones then the second stanza says the squalling cat and the squeaking mouse and the howling dog by the door of the house so these are all the animals noise same uh, creatures like cat mouse dog they make a noise squalling squalling is nothing but a loud cry of uh, any creature we can say but they have used a cat squeaking as you all know it is the sound made by a mouse howling howling of a dog is again a cry of a dog we say howling is a cry of a dog these all will happen only in the nights you would have noticed mostly in the nights only the dog will bark will cry loudly i don't know what for they all they'll be crying so but they used to cry only in the nights mostly so this all happens and also bat that lies in the bed at noon all loud to be out by the light of the moon so they all loud to be outside the poet says they, they love the light of the moon so they all come outside to watch this so to watch the moonlight the poet says like that so 
this uh, the tree uh, the cat the mouse dog and bat all of them will be out all these creatures are out by making a noise and they enjoy the moonlight he says in the second stanza and in the th third stanza he says but all of the things that belong to the day huddle to sleep to be out of her way and flowers and children close their eyes till up in the morning the sun shall rise so those who are awake in the uh, daytime they used to sleep in the nights just like we people we all will be awake in the daytime and we'll sleep at night that he is saying along with us flowers and children also he says flowers and children also close their eyes when till till morning when the sun rise till the morning when they away they will wait for the sun to rise and will wake up that's what he says so he says the shape of the moon is like a clock and thieves use the uh, moonlight to do their work they climb up the wall they say he says and in the streets in the fields and the harbors they use the moonlight to do their job and birdies and children flowers all sleep in the night and then this uh, creatures like cat mouse dog and bat are awake in the night they enjoy the moonlight he says so he is none other than robert louis stevenson so he likes the moonlight so he gives a poem about the moon okay that's it so you all please read the uh, poem and try to understand the meaning and you all answer the given questions so before that hard words is shared for you hard words or hard words squalling squeaking howling cuddling these are the five words given for you and the next is synonyms what is given in the book only is with some modification i have given the same yes please practice this and write in your notebook and last but not least i have question and answer which is given in the book that is make a list of all those that are awake and active at night they have given so at night what are all the things awake yes it's moon thieves cat mouse dog and bat and the second question make a list of all those that are asleep at night very easy it is so as we all know it is we children flowers and birdies i think let's see the answer yes it is birdies flowers and children okay now the third one why does the moon look like the claw yes why it is round in shape that is why i think so let's see the answer yes the moon has round face like the claw so that is only our answer why the moon look like the clock the moon has a round face like the clock that is an answer ma and so you all please note it down write in your book the same page complete this and then next page you will on the same page under that you will be getting this activity to draw the picture of moon in this box and draw the picture of clock in this box so please uh, draw this color it and you will be uh, completing this work and you will be showing me in the online session that's all for today children you practice this spellings that is hard words synonyms and then this answer the following then do this activity and please submit it that's all for today children thank you have a nice day